Let's check that lick out slow. All right, so let's take a look at this lick. It's based around the E natural minor scale. Um, I'm basically utilizing notes from what looks like an F sharp uh, minor seven and an E minor seven chord. Um, in the harmonized scale, it would actually be F sharp minor seven flat five, but I'm avoiding the, uh, the fifth, so that way you could use it in E Dorian as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to utilize uh, hybrid picking to play this lick, which is where I'm using my pick and my fingers to uh, cross the strings. For example, playing just the first two notes in the lick, that's pick and middle finger. And then I get the uh, third finger in there as well. And whenever I'm staying on one string, I'm either doing a slide, uh, like a legato slide, or I'm doing uh, just a pick and slide like this. So that's kind of the idea with that lick. Let's check that lick out slow. All right, so let's slow that lick down and have a look at what's going on with the fret hand here. Uh, I'm using an E minor pentatonic scale with string skipping. Um, and basically, I'm using fingers one, three, four. Then I use fingers one, two, four. Then I use fingers one, three, four. That's the basic shape. Now, uh, with the pick hand, what I'm doing is I'm using hybrid picking again. I'm going to use the uh, the pick, the middle, and the ring fingers to play this lick. And then from that point, uh, when I land on that high E, I'm going to tap uh, on the B string 20th fret with my middle finger as I do the legato hammer-ons. And then I'm going to slide into an F sharp with my first finger and let them ring together. And just finish it out with a little D major triad and a bend at the end there. We'll slow that lick down. So let's take a look at this lick and break it down a little bit. What I'm doing right here is using an E minor triad um, and multiple octaves and some tapping and some sweep picking. So I'm going to start out with some sweeps. I tap the E note. I do a pull off and I finish out the sweeps here on the D string, uh, G string slide. Tap the high E, and I'm going to descend the same fretboard pattern with the left hand. And the thing to notice here is I'm using uh, a bar with the third finger across the uh, A and D strings there. So try to let that finger kind of like roll across the frets like that. There you go. Let's play that lick slow. All right, so let's break this down a little bit. I basically am just playing an E natural minor scale ascending across the strings. And it's all just alternate picking on the right hand. Now when I uh, reach that G note, I'm going to shift up to a D major triad arpeggio with sweet picking, E minor triad, and finish it out with a tap on the 24th fret on the high E. Now let's check it out slower. All right, now in this lick, it's based primarily just on sweep picking, um, outlining a chord progression that's 
E minor, C major, G major to B major, and then resolving back to E minor at the end. Um, the picking is always going to be the same for all these. I tend to generally pick three string sweeps like this. Uh, the concept is going to be um, up stroke, pull off, up, and then down, down, down. Now it's worth mentioning though, when I start these licks, generally the first time I do a downstroke on the first sweep, uh, just to feel that downbeat more strongly, like this. So you notice the first time downstroke, the rest of the time it's always an upstroke on that uh, initial part of the sweep.